27 days left to turn in enough signatures to make it on New Mexico's November ballot. So lately you may have seen people out gathering petitions to get them on. But the, these people aren't necessarily Nader supporters. Neil Simon's live tonight with who's really behind Nader's New Mexico effort. Neil? Nelson, the petitioners wandering around here in the university area are certainly getting Ralph Nader's name on the ballot. That's their goal. But it's not your typical grassroots campaign. In fact, most of the people that we actually talked to out here say they didn't really support Nader at all. Just go ahead and fill us out for me. Paid Nader workers are talking to a lot of people around UNM these days, but they sure didn't want to talk to us. I'm here to get Nader on the ballot. Uh, and I, I've got to talk to everybody. I don't have time to talk to you guys because you're not signing it. It turns out these workers are employed by JSM, a Florida-based company hired by the Nader campaign. But don't confuse them with Nader supporters. Do I want Nader to win? My personal opinion is really no concern. Just a job? Just a job for me. The Nader effort to get on the ballot here as an independent... Hi, sir. Can we get a, a quick signature on this initiative? ...has the two major parties sparring once again. Democrats doubt the signatures will be legal... I'm quite confident that uh, Ralph Nader will not be on the ballot because he's not going to collect enough legitimate signatures. Republicans, including State Senator Rod Adair, are actively gathering signatures for Nader under the guise of fair ballot access. The party officially says it has no plans to help Nader, but Bush supporters know what they're doing when they sign on the line. Just to split up the ticket more, I say the more we got run it, the better we are. Knowing in a close election, Nader on the ballot could help Bush stay in the White House. Nader's campaign calls the Democratic cause of illegitimate signatures nothing but a preemptive strike, like in other states where Democratic lawsuits have left Nader's candidacy in legal, legal limbo. But the Republicans are certainly not sitting this one out. In fact, news reports show that Republicans make up anywhere from one-tenth to one-third of all of Nader's top big-money contributors. Live near the university, Neil Simon, Eyewitness News 4.